from Lafayette Presbyterian Church on this Tuesday of the sixth week of Easter. We continue the story of Jacob. Jacob flees from Laban. Jacob heard that Laban's sons were saying, Jacob has ever taken everything our father owned and has gathered all the wealth from what belonged to our father. And Jacob noted that Laban's attitude toward him was not what it had been. Then the Lord said to Jacob, Go back to the land of your fathers and to your relatives, and I will be with you. So Jacob sent word to Rachel and Leah to come out of the fields where the flocks were. And he said to them, I see that your father's attitude toward me is not what it was before. But the God of my father has been with me. You know I've worked for your father with all my strength, yet your father has cheated me by changing my wages ten times. However, God has not allowed him to harm me. If he said, speckled ones will be your wages, then all the flocks will give birth to speckled young. And if he said, the streaked ones will be your wages, then all the flocks born with streaks, with more streaks will be born of the sheep. So God said to, so God has taken away from your father's livestock and has given them to me. In the breeding season, I once had a dream in which I looked up and saw that the male goats mating with the flock were streaked, speckled, or spotted. The angel of God said to me in a dream, Jacob, I answered, here am I. Then he said, look up and see that all the male goats mating with the flock are streaked, speckled, or spotted, for I have seen all that Laban has been doing to you. I am the God of, the, of Bethel, where you anointed a pillar and where you made a vow to me. Now leave this land at once and go back to your native land. Then Rachel and Leah replied, Do we still have any share in the inheritance of our father's estate? Does he not regard us as foreigners? Not only has he sold us, but he has used up what was paid for us. Surely all the wealth that took away from our father belongs to us and our children. So do, do whatever God has told you. Then Jacob put his children and his wives on camels, and he drove all his livestock ahead of him along with all the goods he had accumulated in Padam Aram to go to his father Isaac in the land of Canaan. When Laban had gone out to shear his sheep, Rachel stole her father's household gods. Moreover, Jacob deceived Laban the Armenian by not telling him he was running away. So he fled with all he had, crossed the Euphrates River, and headed for the hill country of Gilead. Let us pray together. Father, bless us in this day that all that we do and say might be in accordance with your law, the law of love of neighbor and love of self. Bless us as we suffer through this period of the pandemic and grant that the blessings you prepared for those who love you will be evident in all of our lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm.